Hi, I'm Steve. I'm in the initial phases of a new project, and this is for a client. So I not only have to satisfy myself, but I have to satisfy someone else too. And that's gonna, that brings a few twists into this on how I normally do things. And I'll probably share some of those in a future video. And if you're interested in that, please hit like or comment below, whatever it is. Uh, but this project entails placing a company logo into the front of the receptionist desk. And in this particular case, that desk is of frame and panel construction. It has a curvature to it. And not only is the front of the desk curved, but the panels that go into it are curved too. And I was able to meet with the client. Initially, we thought that this was flat on the face and I would just apply a logo over that. But as a result, you know, as a result of actually seeing it, it's not flat. It has a curvature both front and back. I don't know whether the camera will pick that up, but from the center to the edge curves about a quarter of inch or six millimeters or so. So as a result of actually seeing it, uh, we've had to change uh, the thought process a little bit. It's, it's more than just screwing on or, or taping on a, uh, a logo over top of it because of this. And I think this, after a couple of iterations, uh, this is what we uh, ended up with and I'm hoping to kill two birds with one stone on this one because of the curvature this is flat panel uh, I'm going to to use this to not only gain the final client approval for the text size and boldness but to use this to take measurements of the curvature so that I can hopefully duplicate that and get as good a fit as possible. So anyway, that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to get to this point. So I often get questions or comments about items, products, tools, accessories that people see in my video. I'm either using them, perhaps sometimes it's even been shown in the background. I wasn't even aware of it. But I thought I'd, this video is going to show two items that I think might generate some questions and I'd just like to address those up front. Uh, first, a little bit about me and my channel. I'm not sponsored by anyone and as a result, you, what you see is what you get. You get my opinion that is often unfiltered. You may agree with it, you may not agree with it. Uh, that's fine. We all have opinions and to, at least to us, it's right. The second thing is, if you see a link to any item in the description of my video, it is not an affiliate link. I'm not an affiliate of anyone. So whether you choose to purchase or not purchase an item, I stand to either gain nothing or lose nothing, whatever you do. The third thing is, you do not see manufacturer discount codes in my description at all. The reason is, I don't go ask manufacturers or distributors to send me product to feature on my channel. Some YouTubers I know that's just a, a reason to get free product. Everything I use in my shop I've paid for and if I did not and it's featured I will let you know up front and this is no exception. What I will say is this next product is shown up here. This is called a Crazy Horse Dolly. I contacted Michael Samarza, who manufactures these in Southern California, and I wanted to purchase one. And he sent it to me and didn't charge me for it. So I thank you, Michael, for that. But full disclosure, I did not pay for this product. It does not change my opinion one way or another. It's more than it's hyped up to be. But you can do a lot of searches on the Crazy Horse Dolly but you won't find a place to buy it. There's no website you can go to and order one. This video is going to be an exception because I'm going to provide Michael's email and if you are interested in purchasing a Crazy Horse Dolly, his email is in the description of this video. Email Michael and he will provide you a quote and a shipping quote to your address. So if you want a Crazy Horse Dolly, now you know how you can get one. Uh, I know he's working on a website, but it's not there yet. The second thing you'll see is an Eigner product. It's called the Eigner Bold, 
Bow Mold Master, which is a tongue twister if you say it fast three times. It's used on the shaper and I use it for profile cutting. I've used it in at least one other video. I think it was the hexagonal table build. And uh, it I used the guide, adjustable guide bearing on it, and I used that to put the rabbit in the back of this around a circular object. I tried doing the power feeder thing, thinking it would, might work. It was a lot more difficult than I thought it was. And I said, I just need to get this thing done, so I just manually fed it at that point. I think I've got some more learning to do there. But with that said, and without further ado, let's just get to the, to the build.
So if you like this type of content, please hit the like button. If you don't like this type of content, please hit the dislike button. I'm just going to let the numbers determine whether I continue with this type of content or not. So whatever way you vote, either like or dislike, have a great day and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.